Uh, thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. And clearly, this is a very significant um, but quite straightforward technical bill that we're hearing today, which the Minister has set out. Um, but, Mr Deputy Speaker, last year the government led people to believe they had a deal ready to go. They said we were all set to sever ties with, the, with Europe and go our own way. In the last few weeks, we've heard government ministers spinning the airwaves, desperately trying to explain that the oven ready deal they boasted about uh, only referred to the withdrawal agreement and not the substance of the trade deal with Europe itself. Mr Deputy Speaker, if this is an oven-ready uh, oven deal, please remind me never to take up an offer of it or invitation for a Christmas dinner with the Minister, because clearly this is just not good enough. And today, after three long years and repeated promises that things would be sewn up by now, the Trade Bill has yet to pass into law. This House has yet to discuss those amendments from the other place, and the Government has yet to guarantee that in any future deal we won't see regression on our environmental food, animal welfare and agricultural standards. There have been no guarantees on protections for our NHS, no guarantees on full parliamentary scrutiny of any future trade deals and no guarantee that human rights remain enshrined in our future trading relationships across the globe. Instead, just two weeks before the end of the transition period, we're discussing a non-controversial technical proposal which allows HMRC to share data with other bodies. People with an eye on this chamber would be forgiven for thinking that ministers are making this up as they go along. Either that, or they're using this quick fix rush legislation to kick the trade bill into the long grass, to avoid tackling the amendments from the other place on protecting the NHS, parliamentary scrutiny and human rights. I hope that's not the case. So what assurances can the government give that the trade bill will not be unduly delayed and kicked down the road following this bill? And what assurances can he give me that they will uphold any amendments on protecting the NHS and social care and trade deals if, as ministers claim, this isn't, isn't a replacement for the wider trade bill? When can we expect the bill back in the Commons? Mr Deputy, Spe Madam Deputy Speaker, enough of the spin and delay. Businesses are crying out for clarity on arrangements after the transition period. The government must commit to the full passage and implementation of the trade bill with full consideration of the amendments support for human rights, protections for our NHS and for our environmental, agricultural, food and animal welfare standards.